Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome, of course, to your daily Bitcoin updates. Um, we have quite a lot to talk about. I mean, in general, um, uh, just to start off this video, we look quite good. All right, we got a bullish breakout above this line right here at 65,000. Um, now, what we talked about yesterday is that the, the real level to break is really like 65,500, 65,600. Uh, uh, so far, we also broke above that. Uh, the Bitcoin dominance right now is dropping and the total three, which is the, the altcoin market, is doing quite well. Uh, so in general, uh, we can say that we actually have a positive start to today. Now, whether that will continue or not, that's hard to say. All right, because we're, we're starting off right, right? So at this point of time, uh, what you can see is that real volume is entering the markets again right now, like 43 million billion dollars, excuse me. 43 billion dollars of volume we have right now um hopefully it loads a little bit so i can show you whether that has increased or not um there's been a de decrease since yesterday i mean obviously yesterday there still was a lot of selling off um especially uh, especially saturday evening as, as most of you know so then the volume was very high i mean at the top uh, the volume reached 66 billion dollars so obviously it's lower right now um, but there is already a, a slight increase over the course of today. Monday is usually a day where new money enters the market. Um, and what you can see at this point of time is that there is real buying going on. I mean, here you can see the open interest. Um, so basically since yesterday evening, and most of you know that because yesterday evening we also got uh, got the altcoin market doing better again. Um, yesterday, we saw some big buys. I mean, you can see the open interest or so the amount of positions being opened. Um, was very positive, spiked up with a positive CVD. So that means that real long positions are being opened right now. Uh, we could also take a look at some uh, some spot buying, seeing whether that's also um, whether that's also doing great right now. Um, and I think overall, if, if you look at the markets right now, the um, if you look at the difference between the spot buying and the futures buying, um, I think it's a mix of both. I mean, I would say there's more spot buying, which is obviously better because if, if, if more spots is being bought, that's usually more long-term, that's usually less sensitive to, to volatility. <clears throat> so that's good to see. But now, um, the thing is, and even though the last 24 hours perhaps look pretty good, or at least the last 12 hours look pretty good, um, the truth is still that there is quite a lot of unrest in the world, which we'll talk about in a, in, in a moment that's still true we still have the bitcoin halving go, uh, coming up which we don't know what type of effect that will have on the price or if that will even have an effect we don't know um so so even though the last 12 hours or, or so have been have been relatively good i still think we need some more confirmation um and apart from that like i said with the escalation right now in the middle east um, I personally don't think it's comparable, but if you if you just technically look at what happened when uh, when, when Russia invaded Ukraine uh, back in 2022, what happened then is that when it actually happened, we got a big drop. Uh, but then afterwards, even though it, it continues to this day, um, after that, the price actually went back up and the price back then also was consolidating like we are doing right now as well. If you if, if you zoom out, I would very much call this a consolidation. Um, but, but back then we also moved up to the top of the consolidation range so obviously it's it's not great for the world and i i think about it every um think about it every hour how, how bad it is for the for, for the world world right now um but if you use that to kind of see what type of effect that would have on bitcoin um it could be bullish it's not necessarily bearish but like i said due to the halving etc everything we need some more confirmation so i would say main support level we have is 65,100. main resistance level we have is 67,000. wait for one of those two levels to break due to the circumstances and due to the buying we're seeing right now in terms of the open interest I would say it's a bit more likely we're going to get that bullish breakout and that we will get back up to the top of the range. Um, but that is very much not confirmed. All right. So be careful. Wait for the breakout. Wait for confirmation and you'll be fine.